Good evening and salam ibu petiwiku. Tens of thousands of Californians were forced to evacuate their homes yesterday as dry winds and high heat flood flames and fears in the state still jittery from devastating wildfires in the past two years. The dramatic fires and evacuations near Los Angeles and in Northern California came against a backdrop of power shutoffs to stop high winds from stopping trees or blowing debris into power lines and starting fires. Officials said they did not yet know how many homes had burned in the state and that no immediate injuries were reported. Prime Minister Boris Johnson called on Thursday for a general election on December 12 to break Britain's Brexit impasse, conceding for the first time he will not meet his do-or-die deadline to leave the European Union next week. Johnson said in a letter to opposition Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn he would leave, give Parliament more, life, more time to approve his Brexit deal, but lawmakers must back a December election. Corbyn said he would wait to see what the EU decides on a Brexit delay before deciding which way to vote on Monday, repeating that he would only back an election when the risk of Johnson taking Britain out of the EU without the deal to smooth the transition was off the table. Indonesia has called for better Boeing cockpit systems and oversight by U.S. regulators after design flaws helped bring down a Lion Air 737 MAX jet. In the report, Indonesian regulators criticized the design of the anti-stall system known as MCAS, which automatically pushed the plane's nose down, leaving pilots fighting for control. The report said the design and certification of the MCAS did not adequately consider the likelihood of loss of control of the aircraft. Although it has yet to be certified by the Federal Aviation Administration, Boeing has been working on the redesign of the MCAS. Well, that is all for me. I'm Yumes Rani for TV Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere.